Okay, well, enough about Dungeons and Dragons. Enough about our whatever shows we're binge watching. Let's get back to the tournament. We have Bayonetta back. She earned her way. Okay, it must be button checking or something. Yeah, I don't... I'm really bad at, like, knowing who actors are or directors. That's why I, I wouldn't, like, know what YouTube channel made that abridge. I would just say, like, oh, yeah, the, the abridge. Yeah, okay. I Actually, just happened to well. look. I just happened to know, because a friend of mine was into it, so... I was like, alright, cool. Oh, dude, I am into this witch time, into this combo, into 782%. This is justice against Mario, and all the atrocities he's done with grabs. I mean, remember, this is like a, a matchup that used to be good for, or quote, good for for Mario, because Mario was able to get numbers off a of grab. Still a true statement. And as I, you can see. <laughs> I just yep. remember when this game came out, when Ultimate came out, everyone was like, Mario's dead, he sucks, he's not good anymore, and I was like, dude, Mario's better, what do you mean? Literally a carbon copy. Minus yeah. like, two changes. Yeah, he's, it, I just argue with people, he's better. It's just, it's ridiculous. Oh, if he had read that tech, would have been really good for Smash. That was good, good patience. I think that's when he knows. Like, mo most Bayos will try to resort to going towards the ledge at times, just because, like, they can do a lot at ledge. They can come in with afterburner kick. They go in with. They can read you with um, which time. There's a lot they can do. So it makes sense why he's like very patient at the ledge. Yeah, maintaining center stage. JTJ uh, making well really work for getting back on the stage and of course landing the up smash. Still hanging on to his first stock. Yeah. Down there. Oh, missed. That was overzealous with the up B. Like, I respect it. You want to go for that extra point, but you could lost stock. I just hate how Mario down throw up air and down. <laughs> Still works. Dude, that's the forever combo. It's never going away. Yeah, some characters lost their combos, and I'm just like, why does Mario still have the combo from the last game? At least to be down throw up tilt out there. That killed. Yep. Yeah, I hate to see it. People think Bayo is a menace, but I'm telling you guys right now, man, Mario is a menace. I don't know. I think, uh... I think Mario's earned his place high, uh, high on the ladder in this game. Yeah, I think I think Mario was really There was good. a few games where he wasn't good, so. Yeah, I think for every game, 64 to melee to to brawl, he wasn't even good in brawl. It wasn't until like Smash 4 where he finally got good. Yeah, so you know he he bided his time. He he was on the bench for quite a while before you know he had his moment to shine. Yeah, hot take Mario better than Bayo. That's not a hot take. That's just facts. Ice cold. Yeah, man, that's just facts. That's, that's not a hot take. In, in 4, this was a good matchup for Mario because he was the character that like could legit punish Bayo with grabs. If you had a, if your character had great grab combos and great grab punishes, you could really do good against Bayo back in Smash 4. Like That was how you basically got around Bayo because she would try to whiff you, try to bait you, try to witch time you, bat within you, and if you had a grab where you don't have to worry about like accidentally running into witch time, you could do really good against Bayo. But that was Smash 4. I think in this game it's still very much the same. Like, granted, Mario just has way better tools to kill Bayo, for sure. Oh yeah, better combo tools as well. Yeah. That's why I used to tell people like the counter pick war that Tweak used to have against MK Leo, like Bowser versus DK, made a lot of sense because like DK could just punish Bayo with grabs like all day long and kill her within with, with one grab, and Bayo could do equally the same with just which time. So yeah, a different story moving forward. Now we got back air. Oh, that's a tough spot to be in. I don't think he can actually recover. Yeah, it's a tough spot. But oh my God, that platform came in like Animal Crossing came in right before this whole quarantine. ABK right back to the center stage. 
Oh, getting the witch twist. We see the forward airs, but it's not enough. Great DI JTJ still living. Oh, I missed grab. I don't I really just have to understand the spacing that you can go for up smash too. Falling there, it's gonna put Welp off stage. Smash? Yeah. Oh, that hurts. The fact that O Smash has enough shields done and then Welp wanted to kind of get out of that situation, GTJ could just read that with the back air. That was good. Well, I, Welp whiffed uh, up tilt, so. He oh, tried yeah, to. Well, yeah, he tried to put like 40 onto GTJ, but instead lost his stock. Back air. Ooh, that was too much. That was way too much. You had no reason to go for that. That, that, situation. that was, There was no reason to go for that. Like, yeah. What? Oh, that might have just been a misinput for back air, probably. Yeah, like if that was, oh, yep, up smash. That's good. That's good. Usually Mario, like, things things Mario can't really do too much or rely on is like Nair in this matchup. Usually Mario's will go for Nair unless they're beating a recovery from the stage. Or as a combo finisher, not much of an extender, or something that you can land on your opponent with. But in that case, Bayo can actually get which time on it. This is a solid combo for, in terms of percent. Yeah, more AVKs into up air. It's gonna cover a lot of a lot of area for Welp. Uh, yeah. It's gonna make it hard for JTG to fall on top of him. Oh, Witch Twist, but the AVK doesn't connect. Another Witch Twist out of shield. Nice back air. At this, at this opportunity, Welp has a lot that you can actually just go ahead and get a good bat with it and forward smash. Yep, because you can actually punish the landing. You can tell that JTJ wanted to sneak in another back air, but the frame in which forward smash comes out, even though it's slow, it's the fact that like Welp was kind of decently spaced to avoid getting hit by that second back air, because that was a full hot back air. So good stuff to Welp. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like JTJ was just kind of trapped after the bats within occurred because Welp just continued uh, the momentum and just fell to the stage. Yeah. But yeah, Welp able to take game two. One one to score is of course best of five. Pretty aggressive start for both players, trading uh, a lot of hits. Oh, JTJ went for the for the jab reset at the corner. Probably gonna get an S smash after that to take the stock. So that's this is essentially like um, work that JTJ shouldn't have to be doing. And another up smash connects and chasing so high, but gets a trade. Forward throw. throw. Nice. Forward smash, yep, that'll do it. Ooh, that was close with the afterburner kick, because that cape could have taken care of so much. Back throw. Yeah, he's going off the deep end. That was good, though. He really needed that back air. Yeah, I mean, the risk rewards, it's fairly good. He's at low percent. Even if he gets hit with ABK, he's gonna be able to make it back. Wow, back air beat out uh, the dive ABK. And back air is like better than some of the characters in the game. That's just that. Like, you can space with it, it's got a disjoint, good frame data. Combo tool, combo starter. And back back air could probably solve world hunger. Oh, close. That was a little bit too much. I respect it though. I mean, good call out on Mario as well. 
I think one thing that GGJ might actually have to start doing is actually just accounting for um, after burn a kick and try to punish afterwards from it, because there are situations where like if he had just been a little more patient, he could punish after burn a kick on the landing, which you can do always, but it's all because on how GGJ react to react to it. Oh, he missed that. Yeah, good amount of shield pressure. JTJ continues to throw out a lot of kicks and hits, but just being a little bit too aggressive, JTJ getting caught in the witch time, and well, gonna capitalize. Yeah, if, like I don't, I don't want to demean anybody's playstyle, but like there are situations where you can just like the way that Welp understands it is, in his mind, he's seeing as okay, he's going to mash an aerial out of shield or an aerial because of X reason, so I can easily punish that with witch time and. You have to be careful with Bayo. Like you actually, she's actually one of the few characters that just tell people you like you can you can't mash on Bayo really, even in this game you can't mash on Bayo. So like, the fact that like if the Welp can consistently get punishes at which times on like GTA and GTA is caught in mashing an option is shows a lot. Like like so right, had he had gone in there with Wish Time, had, had or any other move in this case in this scenario, GTA would have not gotten punished and would not see eighty five percent. He probably would have taken a stock or gotten something different. He wouldn't even have lost at that point. But because he got caught mashing up smash like three times, you know, Welp pretty much was able to put himself at 2-1. So this is, there's scenarios that you can I just tell people, like, you just cannot mash on Bayo. Like, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, but I understand, like, JTJ's position as well. It's really difficult not to push buttons. Uh, Warchief, are we going to stream Gao and Koppel? Do it off stream so we can end faster. <laughs> yeah, I guess just play off stream then. Sounds like an interesting match. Uh, Gayo versus K Rule. I say Gayo because I never know when he's going to pick. Probably pit, but, you know, who knows? Oh, and speaking of character switches, we have a sword coming out. This is something I did not see, but this is actually the matchup that I've never been quite familiar with, even in... Like, if I think about it back then, it was easy, for Marth, it was pretty easy. It was actually pretty even, but... Ultimate things are a little different, I don't know, we'll have to see. You can space Bayo and then have a consistent hitbox to like deal out with Bayo. Wow, that's almost practically death if you can really uh, get an edge guard here, yeah. Get on him to actually hold out. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what about that gun. Yeah, you tacked on a little bit of extra percent, but you're kind of stuck in your animation. And yeah. You're really susceptible to a punish. Okay, speaking of punish, here we go. Good pu Oh, not able to convert off the up tilt after the witch time. Down throw. Using which time to stall into the air so the up air um, doesn't contest the landing. Or smash, yep. Yeah, throwing out just uh, one too many dash back S smashes. Nice. Went for the full slide, able to pop them up and then go for the combo from there. 80% to 33. That's good. That's that's gonna be good. Ah, uh, drop the combo. I was gonna say, even if you don't kill, that's good percent. Yeah, yeah. And of course, sword dance or dancing blade from center stage. There are situations that I felt like JTJ shouldn't go for forward smash. Like they're pretty solid, but it's more of a read on an opponent or a well spaced option. And yeah, at the ledge, he has to be careful. Again, pretty similar. I guess it's just display style. Like I was saying, man, it's hard not to push buttons. Like, even, there are even top players that have difficulty not pushing buttons. Yeah. He finally gets it there, though. That's where it mattered. Like I said, well spaced option. 
or a read, especially with a roll. That was nice. If he had gotten a reset on the platform with up tilts to up air, that would have been good. Still yeah, solid, 137. JTJ, you know, the pressure is on, the chase going so deep. You can see another back air, but oh, Welp is able to escape. Yeah, JTJ is pretty much plus in his favor. 154, watch out, watch the gut up. Yeah, he has to be careful. I like that JTJ was just like spamming shields. Uh, look, really looking for a parry, but uh, from like a, an ABK. Yeah. He's like, like, always that was a perfect it. angle. I wish parries were more like power shields in this game, but. Oh well. They talk about they're better. You would agree. Oh. <laughs> I'm up in arms about it. I'm up in arms about it. Down smash was a rare sight to see, right? That we saw earlier from Lucina. Yeah, I don't think her down smash got buffed. No, not at all. It's the and, and Mart's Mart even Mart's and Lucina's down smash doesn't have much utility. It's more of a read. Well, I don't know. That's it. That's, that's it. That's it. Oh, nope, really? Nope. Nope. Not yet. Yeah, you. Can't be sleeping on Lucina, man. She make it back from anywhere. Yeah, the yeah, Dolphin Slash has some ridiculous range. While and he reads the jump out. Welp out here with the three one. Sorry, JTJ putting up game four into game five. I, 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 I got mixed up. <laughs> I got mixed up. Yeah, I think I think if we start to see more Marts, you're gonna see the power of Down Smash, especially being able to to convert into it. Yeah, I. What I tell everyone is that um, Marth buffs is a step in the right direction. Tipper was very inconsistent. Pre patch, super inconsistent. But now that he now that he got buffed, it's way more consistent. Um, but the buffs are not enough to put Marth into a position where he can be in the meta versus like falcon like those falcon buffs i think they put falcon in the meta those mewtwo buffs they definitely put mewtwo in the meta these bail oh, buffs mewtwo. I think... mewtwo let's talk about mewtwo that character is so good right now i can't yeah. wait for a couple months corin buffs those corin buffs put corin uh, in the alive. meta Corrin's no, I, no I, think Corrin, I think Corrin, <laughs> I, those those buffs definitely like they put a they, they they put a lot of help on Korra. Even the Bayo buffs, like people can kind of see that Bayo is back a little bit. I don't um, know, man. So like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of like a position or like even a matchup where we you would want to go Bayo over like a, a top quote top tier. Mm -hmm. I I can't think of one. Like yeah, combo game's good. I guess heavies. Yeah, you can you can go against heavies. Probably not Bowser. Yeah. I think the three characters that we'll probably see a little bit more is probably Mewtwo, Falcon, and, and uh, Falco. Maybe Meta Knight a little bit. I don't know. I haven't seen too much stuff on that, the Meta Knight front. But for sure, Mewtwo, Falcon, and Falco are like the three characters that like these. These put these characters into the meta. I mean, Falcon was already pretty solidly ridiculous pre-patch. He had some weird good stuff going on, but now this character just has so much safety to him. I don't know why. Oh, he's back there. Back there, yep. Yeah, that, do it. I think that was like a pretty fresh uh, witch time too. Mm -hmm. The fresher the witch time, the the more um, slow and slow down your opponent is. I think you have two witch times before like Ultim I'm sorry, like Smash Four. Bayo has two witch times where they slow you down the most, and then after that they're a lot less effective. And that's per stock. Wow, that that was double before it's Smash. I'm sorry. Well, you're kind you're kind of walking through the second one. Your fault. Yeah, we're just swinging. Like Lucina does not care about position. Forget spacing. I'm just gonna swing. Yeah. You know, it's Having... actually kind of think. Now that I think about it, it really fits JTJ's style because he likes to push buttons. And he likes the shark. Uh, yeah, and, and I, that's what that goes back to. Like how I was thinking about Mario. His Mario just goes to show like and Lucina is definitely one of those characters like having a consistent knockback on the sword I feel range. like he almost says run into this every single time he has smashes because there will be times where like Welp isn't even the correct position and like even the spacing it's it's definitely not space to try and bait Welp in but still we see JTJ throwing it out and Welp yeah. able to capitalize
Oh yeah, bat within. If he did not get the bat within, man, that was one dead bear. I'm telling you. I mean, if if J2J loses again, okay. Why? If J2J lose lost because of that bats, like that would have been twice that bats <laughs> saved Welp and ultimately cost J2J the game. I think Welp was too quick to try to move from the ledge. Like, give, give yourself some time. Like, if you made it back to the ledge, you don't have to move right away. 